Hi, I'm Matt Kemp from the Underground Cookery School. I'm going to show you how to make a series of sauces. Hope you enjoy. Hi cookery lovers. Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect bechamel sauce. The first thing we need to do is put a pan on the hob. And you do need to do it in this order. So you need to put the butter in first. Like so. And I'm, I'm always a bit funny when I'm melting butter over the hob because it can catch quite easily or burn quite easily. So I always adopt the method of a combination of um, part on the hob and part off. But as soon as all that butter is melted, I'm going to add just some regular um, looking thing. There we go. So it's all melted. In it goes. And I'm just going to give it a good old stir with a whisk. Now what we've done is we've made a classic roux there and that roux is what's going to thicken out our bechamel sauce. I'm now going to add the milk and I'm going to keep stirring that milk and at the same time just reduce the temperature. I'm going to add two more ingredients, which are the peppercorns, I'm going to put two of those in, and a bay leaf. Now, I've only done a very small sauce here, so this is going to cook, well, literally in seconds. Um, but obviously, when you make a bigger one, um, it's going to take a lot longer to cook down. The other thing is, um, as I always uh, say in any of my um, cooking videos, um, don't look at the clock, always look. Um, the consistency of what you're doing. And what I want to achieve here is a nice thick white sauce. Now I pretty much got that. Uh, as I said it was it happened quite quickly because it was only a small sauce. Um, and I'm going to give you an idea of the consistency which I believe to be about right. Um, and I'm going to pass it through um, this sieve because I don't want the peppercorns or the bay leaf in the sauce. But that gives you an idea of the texture, and that's the sort of thing that you might use in, for example, lasagna. And there you have the perfect bechamel sauce.